Welcome to the Ayurvedic Way, where we explore ancient health and cooking secrets from India that have helped people live in balance for thousands of years. I'm Randall Mark. I'm Amrita Sandhi. Today we're discussing how Ayurveda can help you with depression, which is really an imbalance of the doshas again, our different body types. Kapha is an imbalance with that. So today we're showing you how to pep it up with fruits and vegetables, and our main dish is a millet with vegetables. It's an ancient grain. Mm. Can't wait to taste and try that stuff. I also have an amazing interview with one of the most inspirational people I've ever met. It's going to be a fantastic show, so stick around. On this episode of the Ayurvedic Way, we're talking about depression. Now, it's a very complex thing, and I don't want to diminish the real issues that people face when it comes to depression. However, you know what? The issue of depression is nothing new. It's been around for centuries, as long as human beings have been around. The issue of melancholy and feeling down is part of what it means to be human. However, we need to understand that there's foods that we eat that can bring us up. So what are we making today, Amrita? Absolutely. This is a chilled mixed fruit soup. And it's because for kapha, which is earth, if it gets stuck, it gets depressed and it needs to be picked up. So if mm. any of us are depressed, kapha is usually out of balance. It's the earth. And when kapha is in balance, it holds up the entire world. Out of balance, you need to really up the fruits and vegetables, and that's what we're showing you how to do. So you're, you're stimulating, again, the natural, in the Ayurvedic system, it's the natural fruits and the vegetables and the nuts and these kind of spices that bring you up and lift you up. I mean, I've, I've, I watched one movie this, uh, about this guy who just ate, you know, uh, fast food food for 30 days, and he said he felt more sluggish than any other time in his life. That's what that kind of food does. This picks you up. Let's make some soup. Absolutely. You, yeah, that's exactly it. Okay, so, so I'm just chopping this up. here are some gorgeous strawberries. Yeah. We're chopping them up for the mixed chilled soup. We're saving some strawberries for the garnish. Excuse me, Randall. Yeah. And uh, we'll save some mint for the garnish. And again, sight is such an important part of the six senses. Yeah. And in depression especially, you want to be surrounded by color and things that are going to pick us up again. So we have, uh, half of these are go in the pot for the soup, other half go in later That's for the garnish. That's correct. So I'll just do that. I'll uh, divide yeah. it up into half. Half go there and then you can do that. Half goes there, About thank you. half a cup you. in here too? Yeah. Okay. And this is because we're, the, we're pureeing half of the uh, fruits. Yeah. And the other half is getting, uh, is not getting pureed. So again, you get that aspect of raw and not raw, which is so important in Ayurveda, especially important for kapha. There you go. Thank you so much. I love all the different uh, fruits we've got here. Yeah, gorgeous. Smells huh? so good. Yeah, Left it tastes there. delicious too. Now I, Thank uh, you. Did you get enough strawberries? Let me just finish them off there. I you did. Go. Do you have enough in your yeah, pile? Yeah, I got some. Yep, yep. Oh, good. These Kay. are gorgeous strawberries. Yeah, those Look at are them. fresh. Fresh, right, uh, grown in the lower mainland, British Columbia. Can't wait. This would now, take depression out of anyone, I, I think. I know. Now, the cinnamon, do we put that in too? Yes, we do. The cinnamon's Touch in there. Touch of the cinnamon. And this is the agave, the agave, nectar, agave nectar. Which, I'm again, is right it adds in. this a touch of the sweetness, but it keeps the glycemic index down. Okay, so we're just going to show you all the different fruits in there. This is going to now simmer till the fruit is soft, and then I can puree it up. So I'm just uh, finishing pureeing it up here. Is that pretty good, Amina? That looks gorgeous. Like, and the oh. color itself yeah, and it's the so aroma. Yeah, it's so fantastic, like a thick, nummy soup. So we have to add this, uh, what we is this gonna stuff? We're going to pour that into here. What's oh, the, yes, that's right, the peach nectar. The peach nectar goes in there. Yes, wonderful. Mm, that smells good. And then we pour all this into the bowl. Yeah, while it's still warm. Yeah. So that that fruit softens as well. Okay. And then we, uh, we have to do chill this? We're chilling it for half an hour. Wow, okay. And when we're done, we're putting a dollop of yogurt on it and a sprig of mint. And it looks absolutely gorgeous in people's bowls. I can't wait. It's going to be very, very tasty. And coming up on our next segment, we use some ancient grain millet, which gets your body to digest it all day so you stay full and stay up all day.
Welcome back on this episode of the Ayurvedic Way. We're talking about depression. Now, I understand it's a complex thing, and I don't want to minimize when people are going, uh, going through a real legitimate depression. However, we all face moments where we're going down, we need to be boosted up, and food is a wonderful way to do that. What are we going to make here? Absolutely. We're making uh, an ancient grain, mm. millet, Okay. And we're mixing it with vegetables. So we'll start by sauteing okay. the onions. Start with a little bit of... Uh, Thank you. You need a little... You, you, you love using good That's oil. That's beautiful. Yeah, good oil is very important. It's important mm -hmm. to lubricate our tissues. Okay. Just fire this uh, chopped Fire that onion. in. Now, this is a little bit hot. So always remember to adjust your heat. Okay, so if you find something's a bit hot, turn your heat down. And how do I know? If, it, if that, that sizzle's too strong? That's right. If the oil starts to burn That's like that, right. it's too hot. Okay. Yeah, so I'll turn you, it down for you. Thank you for turning that down for me. And so I'm just going to saute these a bit. And I'll tell you a bit about ancient grains. It's wonderful to use. Mix up your grains like into millets and uh, various it, different it, ones. Like what is millet? Because that's millet right there. Yeah, it's like a little beautiful? seed. And it it's, looks like tiny little circles. Yeah. And but it uh, kind of looks like couscous or rice. Yes. Now we had a chance to, uh, you boil it just like you would rice, right? Is yeah, that right? Exactly. We did that here. We've, we've pre-done it. I'll show you. Uh, that's what millet looks like when it's cooked. And uh, which is going to be very, very tasty. Uh, and so you just bring it to the boil as you do rice. Mm -hmm. And as soon as it's to a boil, you turn it down to simmer and let it simmer for 15 minutes. And it's done. It's wonderful. Well, then we mix it up with these delicious uh, vegetables. And that's a wonderful meal. You know, and I'm, I'm Rita, you're talking uh, to me before about um, the. I'll, I'll put these in yeah, first. Thank yeah, thank you. Thank um, you. You're telling me about how it's important to mix up the grains in your one's diet. Why is that yes. so important? It's so important because when we use the same grain or eat the same food over and over again, we end up building up, uh, our bodies don't like it. Uh, and so it, it's, uh, we build allergies to it. As mm. a lot of North Americans, Westerners, have allergies to wheat. Yeah, like because that's a more of a recent thing. I noticed in my kids' school, oh, this kid's allergic to wheat and this kid's allergic to, you know, that, that, that kind of bread. And you're saying it's because we've been too dependent on one grain. Exactly. We haven't... Uh, exactly. Millet. I've never used millet in my life. Right. Vary it up. It tastes delicious and it keeps your immune system going and you won't build up allergies to one food. Can I put these, uh, these, some of these guys in? Please. Thank you so much. You got that in. looks delicious. Yeah. So we've chopped up some mushrooms. You've got zucchinis, tomatoes, onions, which had sauteed earlier. And a couple mushrooms. more. And remember, you can always add a few of your own, whatever you feel like in your house to your mixed vegetables. So you don't always have to follow exactly what we've done. Okay, now what do we do with this when it's all done? So there's a bit more. That's on. beautiful, okay. okay we got these two things, what are, what are yeah, they? Yeah, we've got tamari and rice vinegar. What is tamari? Tamari is like a soy sauce, but it's non-fermented. So it's mm. actually, again, easier to digest, better for you. And rice vinegar. And rice vinegar adds a wonderful flavor. Mm. And uh, And you want me to have, now we do this now? Can I put this in? Your fresh basil, yeah. Oh, I fresh love that. Fresh is best. And the, your wonderful basil that you grow here. I just love having Thank it you. in my kitchen. It's so fresh. Just chop it up into little chunks. That's perfect. I basil and, uh, is a holy ingredient in India. It gets the blood circulating. Oh, it smells so oh, wonderful. Oh, I love it. When it's so fresh like this. Oh, it's so delicious. Like, why would you ever use basil that's not fresh off a plant? It's unbelievable. Can it, I just fire yeah. that in there like that? Throw your own fire it in here. Oh, Beautiful. That's good. Thank you. That is so gorgeous Man. and aromatic. Oh, it just, it's full. This whole kitchen is full of those flavors. It just gets you excited. And mm. when, you, when you mix this with the grains, you can eat it right away warm or you can take it for lunch. It's a great thing to take on a picnic or a lunch. Wow. So now how long do we let this cook? We let this cook for another 10 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna cook this up, uh, and then we're gonna combine it with the the millet. That's right. So we've had this uh, cooking here for a few minutes. It's looking really good. Wow, yeah. Now I'm gonna add the millet. Do I add it right in? Yeah, we can toss it okay, together me, right in here. Okay, I'll uh, put it right in there. there yeah, my, great. Thank my you. Millet, which is look uh, how gorgeous it looks. Yeah, it's really quite cool. I love that. I think that's enough. Okay, I don't yeah. want to get too much. Yeah, so. that's good. Okay, and then what do you want to... Uh, I'll just like, like that fork back, please. Okay. Thank you. And you're going to stir it all together. And I'll just toss it up together. Okay, I'm going to show people what we got going here because it Isn't is really tasty. Isn't that gorgeous? You got all those fresh veggies in there. And the millet absorbs all the juices, mm. all that wonderful flavor in the... Uh, I'm going to oh. crack some pepper on that. Thank you. Can I do that? Yes, please. I love that. I love cracking and grinding a pepper That's in there. wonderful. Okay, so when you put this right on the plate, we'll garnish it up. Is that yes, ready? gorgeous, gorgeous, okay. gorgeous. I'll, uh, I'll hold it while you okay. work it right in there. Oh, that looks good. We'll try and make this look gorgeous. Uh, well, we'll do the best we can. 
See so again, the thing about these uh, about the Beautiful. millet is a nice Thank complex you. We'll grain. We'll have a bit of leftovers for tomorrow. Here we go. Okay. Put my little uh, fresh basil right on there. I love that. Well, that's going to be a fantastic dish. When we come back, I get a chance to talk to one of the most inspiring people I've ever met about how he overcame one of the darkest times in his life. Welcome back. This next person you're about to meet overcame unbelievable circumstances in his life to become an inspiration to everyone else around. You're not going to want to miss this story. Most of us face hardships and situations that can cause us to feel that life is not fair. Warren McDonald lost both of his legs in a freak mountain climbing accident. This event had the potential to pull him into a deep depression. How he battled back through the emotional darkness to climb some of the world's tallest peaks again is a story of inspiration. Warren, your story is unbelievable. Take me into those moments when you're hiking, you're up in the, in, in the mountain and the rock, 2,000 pound rock comes crashing on your legs. Take yeah. me into that moment. Yeah, not good. Uh, well, wrong place, wrong time for a start. And it basically, you know, I, I'm just trying to scramble out of a creek. I'm just trying to basically get away to, from the creek so mm -hmm. I can uh, use the washroom, basically, yeah. away from the water supply. And, and next thing you know, as you said, I'm, I have this 2,000 pound boulder break loose and s not just land on me, it literally, I rode, rode it on the oh. wrong side, on the underneath side, and uh, until it just slammed me back down into the creek. And, that's, at that point, everything kind of changed. Yeah, and, and when you say change, you're, I mean, you're with this uh, fellow that you were hiking, you just met him the night before, you're hiking yeah. with him. You yeah. are 36 hour hike away from anything. I mean, it's not like yeah. you can just make a quick call. No. How, you know, was there a decision then made to say the next morning when you can't get this rock off, yeah. well, I'm gonna let this, let this guy go on his own and I'm gonna be yeah. by myself. Yeah, and we made that decision that night. We, 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 it just became obvious there's no way we're going to be able to lift this thing and so we made that decision and that's probably that was one of the hardest things for me is mm. watching him you know we kind of hug goodbye and, yeah. and, and watching him turn around and walk away it's like wow you're staring down the barrel of, of your ultimate yeah. test right and, now. And it's, I mean, one of the things that was just stunning about your story, it's raining, the creek is rising, yeah. there's water, you're going to drown. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. it's not just that your legs are pinned. Yeah, this is only a part of it. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's and, and if, you know, it's unbelievable. I've seen some of the clips of some of the yeah. stuff on Discovery Channel. You've got a some kind of a crazy crab coming after your leg, nipping yeah. at it, and you can't. What an opportunist, eh? That was uh, <sighs> that I couldn't believe that. But yeah, it just kind of I felt like I was in a bad movie where things yeah. kept getting worse and worse. Right. And uh, but but what are you going to do? You know, it's yeah. I, all I could do was hang in there and yeah. wait. He comes back with a rescue crew. They were able yeah. to get the boulder off. Yeah. When the doctor says, listen, we've got to take your legs off. Yeah. I mean, you are an outdoor enthusiast. Is mm. this, for your mind, the end of your life? Uh, yeah, kind of. There's, there's two things going on. There's, there's that, but at the same time, there's, uh, I'm in really bad shape here. I, I know that. I don't need to be a doctor to know that I'm, I'm hanging by a thread. And so it was, at least I'm here now. You guys do, do whatever you can. Right. Just trying to keep me here, me, keep you know, and I kind of, well, not kind of, I didn't really think about my legs too much until mm. a couple of days afterwards when I felt like, okay, you might, you might be sticking around for a little while now, whereas early on that was definitely not guaranteed. Right. Wow. Yeah. I mean, your, your story is, when you see it in clips, Oprah, whatever else, you see this yeah. in like three minute story and even people yeah. watching now. It's just like, oh wow, that's happened to him, he lost his legs, and then you become this incredible inspiration where you're able to climb Mount Kilimanjaro, uh, you know, I mean, these are amazing things, but what I'm yeah. interested in, Warren, is how mentally you get through with this place, you're laying in the hospital, yeah. obviously spiraling into a depression. Yeah. How do you move out of that place to a place where you can uh, climb a mountain? And you're right, it doesn't happen overnight. How do you do it? Uh, it sounds simple, but you do it because you have to. Hmm. And, and I've had 
people kind of try and take me to task over this. It can't be that simple. And it's like, do you know what? It was very, very simple. It was absolute black and white. You're either going this way or you're going that way. And when you say going this way, could you see yourself going, moving down into darkness? Oh, yeah. Well, I, I went down there. You know, I'm not, I, I can't sit here and say I never got depressed. I did. Yeah. I, I, I was down there. I took a look around and just thought, do you know what? This is absolutely no place to spend the rest of your life. Wow. You know, I, I, it, it, and, and that kind of that kind of forced me to go the other way and just and and decide okay what is it what 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 does this mean what kind of life can somebody have like this you'd say i will choose this life even if i could rewind that i say no this is part of who i am this has made me who i am and i will i will accept that reality yeah. that's incredible warren you're an amazing guy thank you so much for chatting today Thanks, i really Randall. appreciate your inspiration well thank you you bet I think every, everyone gets depressed a little bit from time to time depending on the weather and life situation. But the gym can be a great place to focus your energies, to release your mind, to give you relief and a little bit of mental space. Welcome back. A great way to alleviate depression is yoga and exercise. So many people when they're depressed turn to drugs, alcohol or even uh, prescription drugs. A much better way to do this and to enter the bliss body is remember this, yoga and exercise. I think every, everyone gets depressed a little bit from time to time depending on the weather and life situation. But the gym can be a great place to focus your energies, to release your mind, to give you relief and a little bit of mental space to make that depression alleviate. It also gives your hormones a lift and get your serotonin levels up, which helps you make you feel good. And you want to feel good as much as you can. We're working on a movement today called the Ab Slings. It's a fantastic core movement, abdominals, and a little bit of core in the back. So here's how it works. If your gym has these, I hope they do, you put your arms all the way through, right up against your body. You hang in, supporting your full body weight. Keep your feet out front. The goal is to get those knees up towards the elbows. The higher, the better, because that's where the abdominals live. Exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. You should feel a strong pull on that abdominal wall and a little bit of a pull in the arms and the shoulders. A little bit on the back as well. It's a great way to get your body moving, to get those hormones up, to get your serotonin in and feel better. Till next time, start light and do it right. The fish pose releases tension and is also good for deep breathing and relaxation. It can counter depression as it can reconnect the mind with the body and spirit. This is a great chest opener. Many people who struggle with depression and anxiety often have feelings of tightness or pressure in the chest. This pose can help ease the pressure. The fish is also very beneficial for a tense neck, shoulders, and lower back. Now we get a chance to make a fantastic dessert. Uh, what all do we have in this dessert? It's called a sweet chicken okay. and it's sour cream. You could use light sour cream or yogurt, but we've used okay, I'll just put that delicious in there. sour cream. A little bit of sweet is nice in people's lives. It alleviates depression. It makes people happy. Uh, we say it creates the bliss body. That's Some, sugar. Yeah. We're putting in, mixing in a bit of sugar. You can use cane sugar. Uh, don't use too dark a sugar because it will discolor the uh, the dessert. Okay. This here is saffron, which is great for getting the circulation going, energizing our bodies. That's just from a, what kind of a plant is it? The it's a crocus actually, wow. and it's the filaments from there. Okay, and then I put some of this. The almonds in. You, you always call that a superfood. Why? Because almonds have all the omega threes in wow. it, which okay. help the brain. Okay. That's a that's cardamom. Ground cardamom. Yeah, adds a wonderful flavor and aroma. Mm. Okay. And now we're going to the the saffron. Once we refrigerate this for 30 minutes, we'll add a beautiful subtle yellow color to it. Okay. We're now garnishing it with uh, almonds, the superfood. It's got all the omega threes in it. We'll save a few saffron strands. And how do top. I how do I garnish properly? Yeah, garnishing with a few mint leaves, okay. right like that. That actually looks very very tasty.
get a chance now to eat all this great food. I'm wondering why we have, you talk about fruit, and you start the meal with fruit, why? It's a wonderful thing to do because fruit digests the quickest in our body. So now we've already absorbed all those nutrients and then we put the rest on top. Well again, look at the beautiful display here. We have these, uh, this great uh, millet, which is a fantastic way to bring your body up, to get it out of the, the dull feeling. When you eat fatty foods, you're going to feel down. If you eat too much sugar, you're going to have a spike and go up and then you're going to crash. This is when you eat holistic Ayurveda kind of foods, you're going to feel great all day. And we just even eat tiny bits of sugar to keep mm. the bliss body up but not too much. Mm, that is... Um, Let me serve you some. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's, a, that's our uh, little dessert there. You, you serve up that. that this is going to be fantastic. I can't wait to get into that. Mm, the millet, and uh, this is... Uh, look at that guy. A perfect uh, color. Mm, not the How nuts. does it taste, Randall? Oh, amazing. I've never had saffron until I hang out with you. I get the weirdest <laughs> foods, and I love them. Oh, they're amazing. Come They're not weird to me. I know, because you live with them your whole life. I'm just used to like burgers all the time. Coming up our next on Ayurvedic Way, we talk about the importance of the environment that we live in, the space that we dwell, and how it affects everything that we do and how we live. We also have a chance to go visit uh, a person who is an expert at feng shui, Indian feng shui. It's called Vastu, and it all is about how we live and where we dwell. It's a fascinating episode. Stay tuned for the next Ayurvedic Way.